Hello folks and welcome to Four Season Backpacking. Please subscribe for the latest outdoor adventure videos. Hello folks, this is where I camped last night. I've got the Van Gogh F10 Helium. Uh, link in the description where you can buy this tent. Um, so I decided to change from the um, tarp to the tent. Um, I found the tarp. The only thing I found with the tarp is it's extremely cold, especially in the mornings, as it you know, it does get colder in the mornings, or at least it feels colder in the mornings. And um, with the tent, it retains the heat better. So with the sleeping bag I got, it's a very lightweight summer sleeping bag for this time of year. And I was feeling cold in the tarp quite often, but in the um, F10 Helium Bango, or tents in general, you're going to be a bit warmer because it retains the heat. So yeah, I had a much war nicer, warm sleep. Anything is with the tarp. I can, if I'm if I'm camping out of the forest, I can have a good view of the sky. It's good for night watching and all that, and just being at one with nature. But I just thought I'll do half the hike with the tarp and half the hike with the tent to see how it goes. But I like the tarp for different reasons to the tent. Like I said, um, you're you're much more with nature with the tarp than you are with the tent. But it's definitely warmer in the tent. Guys, this is how I uh, charge my phone up and my watch and my other gear I've got I need charging, apart from the drone, because that uses a lot of power. Um, I use my Omi 20 battery pack, link in the description for that. Uh, so I charge uh, the Phoenix 3 there, link in the description for that, Phoenix 3 um, GPS watch and the Pixel 1 phone. I do, have, I do have my drone with me, I haven't done any droning at the moment because I don't really want to draw attention to where I'm camping and it doesn't look like there's a good sunrise worth droning at the moment. Um, so I don't normally when I'm camping like this film the sunsets because there's people still awake but the sun's rises this time of year very early so there's no one about so I tend to do the sunrises when I'm camping like this but uh, as I said there's no sunrise now this is the control for my drone I've got the original Maverick Air which is lighter than the new Maverick Air so I decided not to get the um, new Maverick Air this is a 4k this film's in 4k it's more heavier than the new Maverick Mini but in my opinion it's um well, it's 4K, it's uh, Maverick Mini doesn't film in 4K and this can handle the wind better in my opinion than the, the Maverick Air. Um, some of you might disagree with me on that, but um, it doesn't have such good flight time as the Maverick Air. So, I've got four batteries, I've got three backup ones in there, and I've got the battery on the drone there. I've also got the charger which I can, it's got two USB slots on it, so I can charge up my phone and stuff and battery packs if um, I come to a plug, and I can also recharge the batteries on this. But to be honest, these this amount of batteries will probably be okay for the rest of the hike. They're all fully charged at the moment. Uh, very good drone, I'll put it, a link in the description for it, even though it's not the newer model, as I said, it's much lighter than the new Maverick Air, so it, that makes it, better in my opinion for doing stuff like this hiking um but it's not as as i said as light as a maverick mini but it can handle the winds better i believe than the maverick mini okay folks so that's the uh i go f10 tent down and i've left no trace as you can see no rubbish my rubbish is packed up in a plastic bag in uh, my bag on the uh, backpack here as you can see and the next stop is Castle Coombe which should have a bin was thinking of camping here last night looks like someone's been doing a bit of bushcraft looks like someone's had a fire pit here at some point yeah I can see burnt embers in there all cleaned up though. Well, oh uh, look, this one's left plastic. Right, we'll pick that up. 
Well folks, we're coming up to Castle Coombe, just on this road here, across here. And then it's along the road to Castle Coombe. Castle Coombe folks. Don't know if it's the same river I'm walking along to, in Castle Coombe. It's only 6.08 in the morning, so I can't see many people being about at the moment. If you want to read that, pause it. This is at Castle Coombe. So anyone who's been here in Castle Coombe will instantly recognise this. This bit of Castle Coombe. There's a rubbish bin there for me to dispose of my rubbish. I'll take a seat for a second. Okay, it's rubbish time at Castle Coo. the lid back on. There we go. And this. And right. In the back. So picture has here at Castle Coombe. Absolutely stunning along here. See old post office here. Well, according to that sign, anyway. Just walking back to my bag here. It's the river again. Okay, so I'm walking up through the village now. The last, the last time I walked through here, doing the Macmillan Way, um, it was really busy. I think it was in the day or evening. No, it was in the evening. Um, I remember this. Uh, I think it's called a butter cross, if I remember rightly. These things with the shelter. Butter cross. Correct me if I'm wrong. I can look it up anyway. Um, I'm not sure what that thing in the middle of the road is, if that's remains of a cross as well. But it's absolutely stunning in my opinion. This might well be the most beautiful Cotswold village in the Cotswolds, I think. It's always stayed in my memory. Absolutely stunning. Quintessential, as they say, English village. Fairy tale village. So over there you've got the church as well.
Wow, that is definitely one of the prettiest Cotswold villages, Castle Coombe. Highly recommend a village to uh, a village to that, a visit to there. Very beautiful place. Now it is 6.36 in the morning, so I wonder if there's any golfers about this early. I know they're quite keen, a lot of golfers. Can't see anyone uh, out golfing at the moment. I remember I've actually took a picture of this when I did the McMillan Way. It's got a little bell you can ring to say you're coming through. Don't know if people, it doesn't work anymore, I don't think. Yeah, pause that if you want to read it. Well, folks, I'm just going to do some drone footage of this uh, long barrow, remains of this long barrow here. Got all the drones set up. Put the name of the uh, long barrow up on the uh, screen. But this is all that remains of it. Apparently, it was a long barrow. Really big stones, actually. May have been rearranged at some point, obviously, or would have been. I do remember this from uh, when I did the McMillan Way. I didn't get any video footage. I might have got some photos of it before. I have a question, guys. Does anyone know why they covered horses' eyes up? They got these like things over their faces. I've seen it before. It looks like they can't see, or is it like a mosquito mask? It looks like it could be a mosquito mask. What do you guys reckon? Is it a mosquito mask? Or they? It looks like their eyes are covered up. Oh, they can't see though. Well, it's a meshy type material. Maybe to stop the flies biting them. Okay, 5G fans, I'm coming into um, a village now. Not sure what it's called, we'll find out in a minute. Okay. So I'm coming into the village of Littleton uh, Drew. This is the uh, church of the village I just mentioned. So the seat in the village has got the name of the village, Littleton Drew. Lovely seat. So that's the graveyard of the church in the village so here we have the village red phone box which is definitely not being used anymore I can see that it's a book has changed a lot of villages have been doing that for quite some years now there's a post box still in use there you go you can see the books in there so here we go it is a book of strange Lovely idea, looks like they've got some CDs as well. Nice walk along electric fence at the side of a field through long grass. Just for tick fans, fans of ticks. <laughs> I'm not bothered with ticks at all. But um, this is the sort of uh, thing you find them in on long grass. The spare of the root is really badly signed. And it's the root is altered. Actually, I found that a lot of the way they um, either the landowners have just altered the root themselves unofficially, or um, they've had some kind of legal way of altering the root. Oh, great! So I'm gonna have to 
just walk along this bloody electric fence in long grass. Fantastic. I often see this in uh, parts of the country um, rights away fenced off by these bloody electric fences and no way nowhere to get over them without I don't know limboing under it or chucking your bag over or well you know it's a right way like bending the fence and getting over it um, but it looks like this one I've got to walk along here obviously the right way has been altered I don't know why it's been altered officially but there are no signs <laughs> I'm not complaining well, I can see a way out but it is annoying that the right of way has been altered either way when it these bloody electric fences <laughs> Oh guys, I managed to get past the electric fences. There was an opening, but as I said, the right way had been vastly altered. Um, but I have found that a lot on this hike, even on, um, I think, uh, parts of the Cotswold way. Um, but that was a walk through really long grass, which I hate, especially this time of year, because you've got adders as well. Um, which if you just obviously frighten them, give them a bit of a spook, they're going to bite you. So I'm walking through here now. Be at the next village soon. Got a railway crossing as well first. Well, here's the rail crossing. And rather than going, walking across the rails or over the rails, it's under the rails. Not sure what line that is. It's electric. I've heard one train go past since I've been walking towards it. So it's not like really busy. This looks a little bit overgrown. Still part of the McMillan way as I said, but I think all of it's gonna be. I love ow, Jesus! Wait there. I love these uh, old underpasses on railway tracks or under railway tracks I should say that was a lovely old tree up here it's a bit overgrown dude well thistles uh, not too many, but there are. Oh, ow! Stinging it all. Yes, there are fossils. Ah, oh, shit. Ow! And I'm through. Well, still in Wiltshire. I didn't realise uh, a large part of the Cotswolds is in Wiltshire. I suppose it is. I never really thought about that. Of course, I'm used to Wiltshire on the Ridgeway and Avebury and that sort of area and um, Stonehenge. I can actually see a kiln over there. I don't know if you can see it. Past that lovely old tree. Way past that lovely old tree. I think this is the remains of an old dew pond. It's a big dew pond surrounded by trees. Look at that, could be ancient. Sorry, for a short second I went the wrong way. There was like a gate, a stile type thing, and I had to go over the stile, but I went through the gate. It's all overgrown, but yeah, I soon realized to looking at the uh, OS map on my phone that I was on the wrong side of the, uh, in the wrong field. So folks, so folks, this is the source, I believe, of the River Avon. It's a spring and this pump pumps two million gallons of water from it a day and now I'm just going to walk along what used to be a oxbow lake formed a hundred years ago and is uh, now uh, dried up apparently excuse me I just want to get past on the path mate it's okay so down here is a dried up lake I wonder what it was it looks like a 
dried up river, but yeah, that's really cool. So the source of the uh, the Avon, I'm guessing the river I've been walking along, I'm not saying it is the Avon, but it may well be. And uh, yeah, well, you'll know because I'd put it, uh, the information up about the name of the river on the screen. Uh, this don't half look like a dried up river though, but yeah, apparently it was the la uh, lake that formed a hundred years ago, now dried up. Okay, well there's very definitely water going through here. So I'm not sure if this is the Avon. So it probably is. Maybe the, uh, I don't know which way the water's going. It seems to be flowing the way I'm walking. But the water looks so, so fresh. Look how fresh that water looks. It's so idyllic along here. This is rare. this is seriously beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. So, as I said, this is possibly the start of the River Avon. Bit smaller here, isn't it, compared to when you uh, get into um, Bristol, it goes all the way through Bristol, doesn't it? Into the uh, River Severn. So I'm crossing the Avon, probably one of its first bridges, I would imagine. If I'd, if I'd got here late, this would have been an awesome place to camp right by this little bit of the Avon here. There it goes, that's where it came from. Okay guys, I've just been bit on the leg by ants. It feels like an ant bite, pretty painful. Uh, these are really good for bites, these peritons. But the only problem is, if I'm having it in the day, they do knock you out a bit. So I'm gonna be really tired hiking. Maybe I can have some coffee later, but yeah, these are really good for bites. So I'm gonna have one of these now. It's a nice sunflower. Don't know which way I've got to go. I think I've got to go this way. Okay, so folks, it's Luck Luckington, the uh, village. I'm just on the outskirts of at the moment. And there is um, a bin here. And I'm about to do my bin duty. Smells like there's dog shit in there as well. It smells pretty bad. Um, there you go. I think that's everything. It's not that. Oh. Yep. That's everything. So on this route, we're gonna go past the uh, village church, which is um on the outskirts of um Lucking Lucking is it Luckington? Yeah, Luckington. Um, yeah, we don't actually go through the village on this trail, but obviously you've got that option. But I don't think there's any shops here. The village after this has a shotp, and the actual hike. The Cotswold Round goes through there as well. So this is the church. Lovely church. A lot of these churches are open now, I think. Maybe we'll have a look. I haven't had a look at the church for a while. I'm just paranoid of going in because people, well, because so many people are paranoid of this virus. I feel a bit funny going in these churches now. So that's the church I've just uh, come from. It's giving you a look from this side because it's quite nice. Beautiful, isn't it? I'm so glad for this shade. <laughs> it is so hot. I think it's hotter than yesterday. Bit of a fall there. I don't fancy walking through there on my um, train is. I'm gonna get really wet feet. Be cool to see a car go through there. 
Yeah, that is the road down there, by the way. It's a Ford. Thanks for the uh, foot, footpath going along it, though. So this is the uh, Ford Cost crossing. I just uh, walked along the uh, footpath there. This part of the Cotswold Round is so much more quieter than the part that got, uses the Cotswold Way. Um, obviously the views from the Cotswold Way on the Cotswold Round is stunning, but it's just so busy. Even when I did it out of season, it was quite busy. But uh, this, this is Apart from yesterday when I was walking along the river, that was really busy, but the rest of it has just been really quiet. I've not seen anyone else hiking this trail, as I didn't when I did the whole of the um, Macmillan Way from Boston to uh, Abbotsbury. I didn't see anyone else hiking it, yet yeah, it is a first class hike. Right folks, a lot of um, shops and villages don't sell cold coffee and I love cold coffee and I ain't got a stove. But I got these uh, cold coffee sachets and you can just add water and make a cold coffee. So because I haven't got a stove and I love cold coffee, I got these. So I just pour the uh, sachet into the bottle. This is a bottle of uh, Lucasade Revive I had. I keep, uh, rather than throwing the bottle away, I'm going to reuse it for my uh, cold coffee. So I put the, um, the powder in now and all I need to do is put the water in. Okay, water time. Been carrying loads of liquids actually not too many but this next place has got a shop but it might be two days before the next refill it's hard to tell because on the map the village after this looks big enough to have a shop but i just can't find any information about a shop being there so i can't take that chance i'm gonna have to carry loads of water from here which is annoying so now now all i do is um shake shake the bottle up to mix in the uh the coffee powder and then i've got a cold coffee basically not too bad it's a strong coffee as well so this is it I'll, I'll put a link in the description for these um very handy for when you're out hiking and you fancy a cold coffee like i said most of these little shops they don't sell cold coffees so just coming to the next village, which has a shop, community shop. Okay, apparently it's ancient here, according to the sign. So this is the high street apparently. Oh, I can see the post office now where the stores are. I can see the, the church in the distance. Half over there, it doesn't look very open at the moment. It's a bit quiet here. It's um, 11.51, so almost afternoon. It's in a week, peak season. It's got a telephone box. It's gone, phone's gone. Don't know what that is. I think the shop's open. To all the staff at the co-op for keeping service as normal as possible. Thank you. So I just got uh, some food supplies from the co-op here, um, which is post office as well. It's actually a co-op, so it's quite cheap. And um, it's just all packed away. And I've got enough water. Um, Probably not enough food to uh, get to Burford on water or whatever it's called. Well, as they have a one way system, I can't get to the bin. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm gonna have to go this way. I suppose that's commercial waste, but I can't, uh, I'll have to put it in here, I think. We've got the 
Rattle Bone Inn. I love the sign, 1016. It's old, isn't it? Yeah. It's like uh, there's some work being done on the church at the moment, so I'm not going to bother um, having a look at that in the moment. Carpenter's Arms. Don't know if it's open, there's no one in the garden. Ah, that's 12 13 in a weekday peak season. Some chickens in a chicken coop. I don't know about you guys, but I find walking, especially long distances and going away for some time, hiking, so good for mental health. <sighs> it's been an emotional roller coaster over the last few months, but yeah, not being able to really do anything uh, because of restrictions on uh, public transport. <laughs> Just walked the wrong way. Not too far, I don't think, but any distance is far in this heat. But um, yeah, I only just noticed on OS maps that I've walked the wrong way. Easy done. There's no markings. There's no. It's not very really clear where you got to walk. It just looked like this was the path. Okay, so I've decided to go back down this way. It looks like a path. It's obviously one of one of those route changes again, possibly. I just couldn't see the route where it's supposed to go. It's a longer distance, but hey, that's what it is. Apples, apple tree. To scare the birds. <clears throat> Looks like dog kennels. So, this is coming up to the Arboretum. Hopefully there's some shade in there. Hopefully the trees are not too spaced out. Okay folks, it's the west west on the Arboretum. So if you love trees, of course you'll love an Arboretum, which I'm walking through right now. I don't know much about trees to be honest. But it does look like there's a good range of trees here actually. Yeah, there's loads of different kinds of trees I can see right now. I mean, I can see that. Actually, it's really cool because you really do notice the different types of trees here. Yeah, they have got a hell of a lot of different types of trees. I wish I knew more about trees, to be honest. Yeah, so you're if, if you're really big into trees, you'll love this part of the uh, Cotswold Round. Look at that. I don't know what that is. Anybody know? Want to say in the comments? It's quite quite big at the upper room actually. There's loads of plate. There's loads of paths going around it. But unfortunately, <laughs> there's not much shade going on along this route I'm going on. This path is obviously part of the Cotswold round, round going through here. Actually, quite enjoy I'm quite enjoying walking along here more than I thought, actually. There is some interesting trees on the way. It's very busy, actually. There's a lot of people here, but it is, a, it is an attraction. I don't know if you have to pay. You probably have to pay for a car park if you drive here, but I, you know, I, I'm walking another Cotswold round and it's free, free to come in here from the path anyway. So now the Cotswold round is going along the uh, perimeter of the Arboretum. I'm not too sure whether to put the tent up before I get to the next town. Well, I want to, in fact. But I'm not sure if I'm going to find anywhere to put the tent up before the next town. Still incredibly hot. Not enough shade, really. At the moment, anyway. <clears throat> Around the tree. <laughs> Actually, the path goes through the trees at the moment. It's all overgrown and it seems they've made another path on the edge of the field. There's a coffee shop here. 
but I'm fine. But anyway, guys, yeah. Yeah, coffee shop. So it's called Wild Carrot uh, Coffee Shop. Again, it seems like another route change. More longer route, maybe making it slightly longer. Well, I've actually got my uh, buff over my mouth because I suffer from uh, hay fever, so it's not good for me to breathe this in. It's harvest season, guys. Um, so if you're on a hike, it goes through a lot of farm farming fields. Uh, in harvest season, it can be quite hard work. And yeah, I, I waited a bit because um, they're working. I don't want to get in their way. I know it's the right away, but they're trying to make a living. So, but they seem okay. So he's going up there, so I can I can go up here quickly. Yeah, by the time he comes down here, I'll be well out of the way of this bit. This is a nice wide path going through the crops so I'm not far from the next village now so even if it has got a shop it's uh if it's an independent store it's probably likely to be closed because it's uh 5 24 now so by the time I get there possibly closed we'll soon find out anyway so it's just down this hill now to the village my right, guys I want to spook these horses Oh shit. Sorry guys. So it's this all the way down to the village, I guess. And um, hopefully it's not too overgrown. These are the type of paths normally you find are just left to overgrow like sort of thing. Seems okay actually. Oh, I can see the village now. Looks like it's going to be a nice village, but I would have been here before. I can't really remember. But when I see it, I will remember. It's a fair sized village if it hasn't got a shop. It's quite big, but it's all up and down, so I'm not wandering all over the village trying to find the shop. Oh, there's, a, there's a phone box down here. What's in his shop yet? No, it's not got the phone left in it. It's got um, a defibrillator, like a lot of them have now. So there's a pub up here. Did have like a post PO thing on the map, but that could just mean a post box these days. It might have used to be in a post office here, but um, couldn't see anything on it on Google Maps. So folks, it's rubbish time in Avening. So there's a pub over there. The Queen Matilda. And then, I don't know what this is here. Like a water spring or something. This is in a place called Nag's Head. Don't know what this is. Ah, uh, this is the War Memorial. So, if you want to uh, pause that and read that. And you guessed it, it's a um, book swap now. There's no phone in there. As you can see, yeah, plenty of books to swap. It's a really nice little, uh, I don't know what you call it. 
call it, it's not really big enough to be a lake, is it? Is it a pond? I'm guessing it's man-made. I don't know if it's a reservoir. It's kind of like a little nature reserve, I guess, here. It's really beautiful. No. I don't think this has got a phone box. If I haven't telephone in. No, no library. No phone. I don't know what this is. Some kind of memorial. Another well where Wait now, I think I've got I thought I had a tick on my hand then. Another uh good route through the um crop field. Cheers guy for doing that. Thanks to the farmer. There's a lot of uh wild flowers along here. The hay bales are already in this field. Saw them uh, harvesting earlier on and I guess this is the end result. Well folks, there's supposed to be remains of an abbey down there, but I can't see any. Um, maybe it's very vague, but um, obviously it's a settlement now. Um, I'll put the name of it up on the uh, screen. This marker, trail marker, is weird because it has the acorn, which is a symbol of a national trail. But I'm not on a national trail. I'm sure there's no national trail around there. I'm going to have a look on my map. But um, yeah, it's got an acorn on it, but I, like I said, there's no national trail here. Guys, I hope you had a fantastic Christmas and I hope you have a great New Year's. I really appreciate you watching all my videos and take care folks.